into this part, how, how much do you feel that you can, you've already been a team leader, obviously, but with the players who are missing, um, how does your role change, do you feel? Um, it, I don't think it changes too much. I think everybody knows um, that obviously these players are gone and that, you know, we have different uh, situations to deal with in that sense. And, but we knew that was coming, you know, and, and I think that's what, why Tata broke it up in three parts. You know, it's funny that you say that the first part was about getting as many points as possible. Well, now it's also about getting as many <laughs> points as possible. It kind of always is, right? Yeah, so yeah. Um, it doesn't really change too much in that sense. But yeah, my role, I mean, I'm trying to give these guys confidence, whoever, whatever lineup we'll have. Um, on Saturday and then obviously leading up to the other games um, trying to get guys that haven't played as many minutes um, maybe in, in, in the months before now to really you know take ownership of this team and really be like okay this is now this is our time to you know keep the train rolling we want to be at the top of the supporter shield standings at the end of the season and and this is a big part of um, you know every game is a big part of that and, and just trying to emphasize that and trying to uh, make it clear to guys that you know this is now our time and you know we, we can we can do it without these guys as well and you have can you just talk about the importance of you know the vancouver game for example yep. <clears throat> uh you guys did win without some of those big you know names um uh, how how important was that that you know, that memory of we know we can win with with all these players out? oh hugely important i think mm -hmm. and and that was a really good feeling i'm um that we had back then in the locker room after that game as well. I remember that specifically where um, it was a really feel of, of togetherness and of like, okay, this is a really good showing from us. And But I don't necessarily need to be looking at just games in general without them. I think if you look at what Robert Taylor has done, for example, you know, whenever he's been on the field, he's been really productive. Yeah. Leo Campana as of late has done a really good job of impacting games. You know, and those are the guys that, you know, we kind of need now, you know, to step up and really be productive um, in terms of scoring goals and providing and same with myself, you know, I got a, um, you know, got an assist the game last, last game, but I, I would, you know, hopefully I can add a goal or two as well at some point. So, um, you know, it's those types of um, guys that have proven, I think, throughout the year that, that they can do it. And now it's just going to be more prominent and uh, more expected, I want to say. Is the team, does the team change tactically when, when you don't have, you know, two guys who have scored 12 goals each, they're like basically among the top goal scorers yep. in the league, both of them. Um, how does, how do you guys change tactically as a team? Are there different objectives when you don't have those two particular guys up top? Does the, the way the team looks and plays, is it going to be different? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. I, th I think uh, everything change, every, every time it changes, whenever you change the lineup, right? Every player brings a different profile. Um, I, I hope that we can um, maybe um, find a way to not concede as many goals, obviously, and, and that will give us a greater chance, obviously, of winning games. Yeah, um, the last two games were... Exactly. So I think it's been a theme. It's yeah. been, a th been a theme throughout the year, right, where um, we want to be more mindful of, of trying to keep clean sheets mm -hmm. and, and not giving up cheap goals, if, if that's through set pieces, if that's through um, mistakes that we make in possession where then we have difficult counterattacks coming our way, mm -hmm. things like yeah, that. Transition, it um, seems to be, yeah, a lot of those goals have yeah. come in, in transition. Yeah, and that's definitely been a theme for us. So we're definitely trying to trying to work on that, which has been a point of emphasis now. And, and you know, as we develop throughout the year, we want to get better at those things. Um, and, uh, but yeah, again, I think the profile, obviously, the profile of the team, the tactics, um, they all change with different players coming in. So yeah, it'll look a little bit different. Um, certainly we'll miss those guys, you know, obviously they'll, they're, they're a huge, huge part of this club and this team and every time they're on the field they make a big, big difference. So, um, you know, no, no way we can replace that in a sense, that type of quality, but um, we'll try and do our best. Uh, with, uh, you know, most of the world is going to be watching Euros, you know, starting Friday and then Copa next week. This league continues to play through. Yeah. Um, is it hard or how do you guys stay focused on your task at hand and on MLS when there's so much buzz around the world about these games, whether it be Euros, whether it be Copa, they're going to be happening simultaneously. It's almost like a World Cup, really, in two yeah. parts of the world. How do you guys stay focused on, you know, on Philadelphia, Columbus, Cincinnati? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's our day job, right? So yeah. <laughs> it's something that, we, you know, we just have to focus on and, and, and make sure that 
um, we are, you know, clued in, and, and that's where I go back to the question you asked earlier about my role and and guys that are more experienced to really emphasize that and not get too carried away by all these tournaments. Um, by the, everyone, yeah, they may. You yeah. guys are even as players. For sure. No. Yeah. Fans absolutely. Are watching and, On you Wednesday, know. I'm going to be watching <laughs> German. Next week, Wednesday, I'm going to be watching Germany play before I play at night. Yeah, for uh -huh. sure. So, um, you know, those, those will be difficult moments to manage. But again, I think we have mature enough guys and a mature enough group to kind of say, hey, we're still here to, to compete in our level and still here to, to, yeah, to try and win these games that we have coming up while the tournaments are going on. And then when we all reconvene for um, after the tournament for League's Cup for, for the last part of the season, that's when we really make a push. Can it be inspirational in a way? I mean, when you're watching the world's best at the highest level competing for these big trophies as, you know, as a player, when you watch that game against Germany, yeah. you know, before your game, yeah. can, that, can that also help in a way that you're watching the world's best at the highest stage? Yeah, I mean, we, I, th I feel like we usually, on Saturday, for example, all the European leagues, they always play before us. They uh -huh. always play in the mornings, and I, I like to watch games. I like to look at players. I like to um, kind of, yeah, learn, mm -hmm. you know, and that's the same way on a national level. You know, I'm excited to watch Argentina. And, and watch Leo play with some other teammates and kind right. of maybe draw something from that for when he gets back to here and kind of see um, how they play with him and, and things like that. So I'm yeah, certainly looking forward to watching those games just because they're high quality games as well and you're ex excited as a soccer fan too. I just have a couple more I wanted to ask. Uh, you starting with Philadelphia now this week. It's, yep. it's a pretty tough stretch. It, you know, I looked at all the teams yep. over the next six are teams that are all in the playoff you know, group. Yep. Um, you have several games away from home against some of those opponents. You have Columbus Crew here. Uh, can you just talk about the challenge of the, this stretch coming up? It's not only that, you know, Leo and Luis are going to be missing, but also the level of opponent you have coming up is, is really tough. Yeah, definitely. Definitely going to be a tough, uh, tough schedule for us. Um, but uh, I think those guys, are, those you know, teams are missing some guys as well. Mm -hmm. I think Philly as well has some guys in the Euros. Um, so it's not that everybody's at full strength, you know, right. kind of facing us. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I think we have a deep enough roster and, deep, and enough quality to kind of uh, win those games that are at hand. We, we, like I said, our goal is to win every single game and then be on top of the table. And we want to we wanna be there and, and, and be there at the very end of the season. And this includes now winning these games against tougher opponents. Um, and uh, yeah, it'll be a tough matchup. Obviously, Philly is never easy to play, especially at their place. Mm -hmm. Um, so they'll, they'll make it tough, and, but we'll be ready. And what did you do during, during the break? Did you take a vacation anywhere or did you just stay around here? We decided to go up to Boston to see my wife's family and have some friends there that, uh, through my time in college uh, with Providence right there. It was, it was nice to disconnect, get away, do some, a little bit of different workouts. I did some, some, uh, yeah, some fitness classes with my wife and uh -huh. um, just see some family and friends. It was just nice to kind of get away after the tough stretch that, that we had in the beginning of the year. And so coming back together, you were all scattered all around. You've got your minds cleared now. Uh, how has it been this week? I mean, you had rain. Well, yep. you know, how did you guys train yesterday <laughs> with that? That was really a, a monsoon. It was actually not too bad. I think it was only there for the warm up for us. Okay. Um, and then it kind of stopped. But uh, yeah, you know, it's difficult conditions, conditions that we might have to deal with coming up in the summer with, you know, lightning delays, all these mm -hmm. types of things that that will play a role and, and that we just have to be prepared for. And um, listen, this league is, is so unique where you can go from one one weather climate to another within you know a few hour flight and i'm sure we'll, we'll see that now coming up but again it's just something that we uh, will have to be ready for okay good thank you thanks michelle good luck